Hey, what's going on everyone? So in today's video, I've got something a little bit different and this may be a relatively short video, but I just want to share. So as you all know, the Black Series Boba Fett Tython Jedi Ruins is not exactly screen accurate. These shoulder pads are supposed to be on top of the undersuit and he is brown instead of black. So I picked up a second one from Walmart when they dropped down to like $7. I figured, you know what? I'm going to try to fix this. So I moved the shoulder pads to the top of these little sleeves of the undersuit and I painted in black. I'm just going to show you how I did it. Now, I did not record the process because in the past, every time I've recorded any kind of painting or model building, everyone skips that part. So I'm not doing that again. I'll just show you the finished product. So let's take these in the other room. Let's get a better look at them. Okay, so here are the two Bobas, and as you see, the one that's on the right is the one that I fixed. It is now a little more screen accurate with these shoulder pads on top of this undersuit, and it's black. I don't know why Hasbro paints things brown that are supposed to be black. They've done that on a few occasions. I don't know why they do that, but yeah, it's supposed to be black. So this looks a little better now. It's a little more screen accurate, but as far as the process, okay, for this, the first thing I did was pop these shoulder pads off, and I preemptively did this one. And I got lucky here. This one actually just popped right off. That was, I feel very fortunate because on this one, I actually had to heat these up, okay, to safely bend them up. And then I actually had to take a very fine blade and like, here, I'll use these as, a, as an example and just basically like, you know, cut through there, okay, to snip it off. Now in this case here, as you see, if you try to bend this up some, okay, that is what's holding it on. It's a very small peg, it's just glued in, but it does stress the plastic. So be sure and heat these up before you start bending these because you don't want to snap it in half. And if you do have to cut through, just be very careful not to inadvertently cut through the pad from the underside, okay? So that's the first thing I did was pop the shoulder pads off. And again, I got super lucky here. This one literally just popped off, okay? But yeah, pop the shoulder pads off, and then I just carefully painted everything brown, black, okay? I just used thinned out acrylic black paint. I did not take the figure apart, okay? I know some people do. I'm not an expert at stuff like this. I don't consider myself an expert. I just do this for fun. So I did not take the figure apart, but I just used thinned out black paint so it'll go on a little smoother, and just carefully went you know, like around these gauntlets, around these hoses, the scarf, here, let me take the helmet off, painted the scarf, okay, just very carefully with a very small brush, okay, that looks much better, and then the legs, you know, just went all in here, I did not pop the holster off because I, I just didn't want to do that, I was just, you know, being very careful, and then of course I did paint the underside of the skirt, okay, yeah, don't want to leave that out, and then I did a dark wash on him, okay, to kind of bring out some detail in the boots and on his undersuit. Okay, you can see those lines are now a little more pronounced with the dark wash. I did a dark wash back here, okay, to kind of dirty him up a little bit. The dark wash on the hoses. And then I also added some very, very light silver dry brushing to the inside of the gauntlets. And I also put some silver dry brushing on his blaster. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two blasters. Yeah, the silver dry brushing really adds a lot. And something else real quick, I did paint the knee rockets, but I did leave the left one on. I know there's some debate whether or not he even had the left one, because he only fired the right one. But I just left the left one on because I don't know what's underneath, and I didn't want to leave a big hole. It's barely noticeable. Um, but yeah, I did paint the little, uh, the little darts, though. And then once I got him all painted, the undersuit, the dark wash, the silver dry brushing, I then glued these up here. And I just used plain old super glue. Nothing fancy. Now, the, the right one does stick up a little bit. Um, I put these kind of where they wanted to be as far as the flattest part of this undersuit. That is how it turned out. I mean, it's not terrible, especially when you throw this arm out like he's firing. That does not look bad. And then you could throw this arm out like that, and that, you know, looks like it's sitting on his upper arm. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you the finished product. I mean, I really didn't do much, you know, pop these off, super glue them here. Um, here, let me show you what's left behind on the shoulders when you do take these off. Okay, there is, well, in this case especially, that one's not bad. In this case, it was a little rough. 
Okay, but you can just paint over that and it's barely noticeable, you know. So that's what that looks like. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Uh, dark wash here, dark wash, silver dry brushing, very lightly, you know, like on the rocket, you know, just to add a little more detail. Some more on the gauntlets back here. Okay, silver dry brushing, very lightly. Okay, just to kind of rough those up a little bit, make them look a little more worn. Okay, some scratches. Yeah, this really helps back here. But yeah, that... <laughs> That's really about it. I really didn't do much, okay? I just want to show you the finished product. It's an easy, easy custom, and I think it looks so much better. So let's go stick the two Bobas back on the shelf, and let's see how they look there. And here we are, and it looks better. Because <laughs> there's the other one back there in the back that's still brown. That just doesn't look right. And speaking of things that were brown, so I took a fabric marker and colored the other Tython Boba's cloak uh, black, and it looks better. But yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. And the shoulder pads being on top of the undersuit, you know, with the arm extended like that, it looks so much better. So I am happy. Super easy custom, but just like always, I would love to hear from you guys. So comment below and just let me know what you think of this. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series or little modification videos like this, smack like and subscribe if you're new and don't forget to turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it. And something else I urge you to consider, and that is joining the channel. It is the 112th Battalion. It's only 99 cents a month. You'll get sneak peeks to upcoming videos, loyalty badges, custom emojis, all those fun things. I would definitely appreciate that. But just like always, thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all next time.